Good morning, good morning. Hey, Nikki, good morning. Sent, good morning. Jaleesa, good morning. Miss Patricia, good morning. Ralph, brother, good morning. Miss Kiki, good morning. Brother Daddy, good morning. Good morning, Shaquita. Tell my baby I said good morning. <clears throat> Porter, good morning, brother. Miss Gloria, good morning. Miss Betty, good morning. Miss Juanita, good morning. Miss Starry, good morning. Cousin Linda, good morning. My friend, Miss Tracy, good morning. Miss Sherry, good morning. Londy, good morning. LaRonda, good morning. Ross, what's up, brother? Good morning. Agrico, good morning. Katina, good morning. Cousin WF, good morning. Nancy, what's happening? Ms. Emma, good morning. Vanessa, good morning. Miss Willie Pearl, four, good morning. Gia, good morning. Miss Bobby Jean, good morning. <laughs> I got you, Ross. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Ain't he? Good morning. Good morning, Miss Paula. Randa, good morning. Tina, good morning. <clears throat> Tish, good morning. Charisma, Kelly girl, Kelly. Hey, good morning. Miss Joanne, good morning. Miss Rondi, good morning. <laughs> Shonda, good morning. All right. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Gonna get, let everybody continue to come in. Hope everybody had a blessed night and uh, amen. And hopefully everybody's day is off to an awesome start. Um, we greet everybody this morning with the, with the love of God. And we are so grateful, so thankful that you all tuned in, amen, to Sunday Morning Word. And uh, we're definitely hoping and praying that you uh, came prepared to receive on today. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, Jason, Kim, Sheila, Miss Betty, Tamisa, Tamisa, Tamika. I'm sorry. Good morning, Shamar. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> some of you uh, have already seen it, and uh, some of you may have not, um, but I did a post this morning that for the next two days, you really need to cover your family in prayer. Um, uh, I woke up this morning with that in my, in, on my heart. And uh, I don't know why that, that showed up, you know, uh, uh, but uh, make sure that for the next two days that you really, really cover your family and prayer. Uh, there's so much going on in our world, our country, and uh, uh, sad reality is we really haven't seen anything yet um, because I don't believe it's gonna get any better until the Lord comes back. But um, I really um, encourage you all for the next two days to really, really cover your family 
in prayer. Um, you know, uh, we all know that prayer is key. Prayer is uh, powerful. Prayer changes things, situations, and people. So um, for the next two days, remember that. Cover your family in prayer. All right. If, every, if everything is good, if you can see me good and you can uh, hear me good. Uh, what's going on, bro, Wayne? Uh, if you can see me and hear me good, go ahead and get, put some hearts out there so I know everything is going good. Joel, bro, Joel, what's going on? All right. I see the hearts coming. So, hey, let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to come today uh, and just really, really uh, hopeful and prayerfully that you will get something out of this. Um, I'm old school and I feel old school in my spirit today. <clears throat> Voice kind of scratchy, but uh, we're going to do the best we can. I need the oh, I need the every hour. I need the oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to to thee. I need the oh, I need the every hour. I need thee. Oh. Me now, my Savior, I come to, to thee, Father, I stretch my Somebody, come on. The oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. Come on, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Oh, oh, oh bless. Come on, tell him. Me now, my Savior. I come to, I come to thee. Father, we come this morning with bowed head, humble hearts, thanking you for all the many blessings you've given. Thank you, Lord, for one more day that you've given to us, a day that we've never seen before and will never see again. God, we thank you that our name was on the wake up list. And God, we're so grateful, so humble that you allowed us to see it. Thank you for another Sunday morning to share your word. And thank you for every person 
that's on this feed today, God. I pray, God, as I always do, that you will till the soil of our hearts, that your word may fall on good soil, and God, that it will bring forth a harvest. Teach us, God, to not just be hearers of your word, but to be doers as well. Every person, God, on this feed today, God, I pray that you cover them and their family. God, we got the message loud and clear, God, for the next two days, we're instructed to cover our families, God, and we believe in God that, that whatever that's coming, God, that you will handle, and God, we believe in God that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I pray, God, your blessing uh, as we spend time together today in your word, and God, we honor you again for this awesome, awesome day, and because you made this day, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's in Jesus' name we pray. We thank you. Come on. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. Again, good morning to everybody that's just coming in. Uh, again, thank y'all so much for uh, tuning in uh, on this Sunday morning. Uh, <clears throat> going to use a very uh, familiar passage of scripture. Um uh, Go ahead and put it on the screen, Psalms 23 and 1. Psalms 23 and Amen. Psalms 23, verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. So read it the word of the Lord. We're going to use the whole uh, Psalms, but we just want to pinpoint uh, that particular verse. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And want to talk today from the subject, when the Lord is your shepherd. Amen. Somebody type that up there. When the Lord is your shepherd. Amen, somebody. Amen. When the Lord is your shepherd. Somebody ought to be able to testify right there. Amen. When the Lord is your shepherd. Amen. The text says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I want you to keep in mind that the word for want is also lack in the Hebrew. Hebrew. So this is how I see this verse. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want or in lack. Amen, somebody. I won't lack because the shepherd is no ordinary shepherd, amen. He is not just some man or another shepherd who leads a flock from one pastor to another or from water, one water hole to another. This shepherd is the Lord, the creator of the heaven and earth. He is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords. He is the one by whom all things were created. He is the one who spoke nothing, spoke into nothing, and brought forth everything. Y'all talk with me. He is the Alpha and the Omega, beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He's the one who was, who is, and is to come. He's the one who has been given a name that is above every name, and at his name every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. He is the one who makes all things work together, priest Marcus, for my good. He is the one who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all I ask or think. He is the Lord God himself. Come on, somebody, testify with me. Yeah, yeah, when the Lord is your shepherd. You all know David, they, you know the story of David, how David started out as a shepherd. He, David, David takes a moment to describe his relationship 
to God in those terms. And my brothers and sisters, some Christians have trusted God to save them for eternity, but watch this, but don't have the confidence that he can provide for them on a daily basis. Y'all ain't talking to me. Let me say that again, rewind. Some Christians have trusted God to save them for eternity, but they don't have the confidence that God can provide on a daily basis. Let me rewind one more time. Some believe that, that God, they have trusted God to save them for eternity, but they don't have the confidence to believe that God can provide on a daily basis. I need somebody on this live this morning that can testify that you can you can just get high five yourself and, and just say, self, thank you for believing that God can provide on a daily basis. Somebody ought to be able to rejoice with me because even in a pandemic, he's still providing. Come on, somebody. Somebody ought to have the confidence to know that he is Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. So as we look at this text today, I'm going to use the whole Psalms and uh, I ain't going to be before you long, but I'm going to use the whole Psalms here. Uh, uh, David's testimony uh, can instill in us the confidence that we need. Number one, number one, when the Lord is your shepherd, here it is, he meets our spiritual needs. Amen. Come on, talk to me. Psalms 23 and 2 says, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He, he meets our spiritual needs. The, the cares, get it, the cares and the struggles of this world can leave us exhausted. Somebody ought to testify right there. But these are the opportunity for us to realize how much we depend on the Lord for spiritual refreshment. Amen. I don't know about you, but sometimes life can overwhelm us. It can, it can cause us to struggle and it can cause us to become weary. But that's when we ought to learn the fact that he leadeth me beside, he, lead, he lies me down in green pastures and he leads me beside the still water. What are you saying, man? I'm saying that in my, in my frustration, my struggles, in my fatigue, that the Lord will give me the spiritual refreshment that I need. Come on, somebody. Somebody this morning on this feed may be feeling down, may be in a spiritual rut, but I came there to tell you that when the Lord is your shepherd, <laughs> priest Marcus, he, was, he will meet your spiritual needs. Amen, amen. Not, not only uh, will he meet our spiritual need, number two, when the Lord is your shepherd, he meets our directional needs. Psalms 23 and 3 says, he restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Come on, somebody. Sheep, amen. The, one of the characteristics of a sheep, a sheep is prone to wander and get lost. They, 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 a sheep need guidance. Uh, if, if you will, um, you, you can't drive sheep like you drive cattle. Uh, you, you get in behind the cattle, you can drive them in the way you want them to go, but, but with a sheep, you can't drive them because they go all over the place. Sheep needs guidance. Y'all talk to me. Amen. If you notice in our vehicles today, many of our vehicles have what is called a GPS, it's a navigation system that warns us to return to the right road when we de deviated to the wrong road. And amen. I don't know about you, but I, in, in my travels, I have taken the wrong exit. I've taken the wrong road. And if you notice on your GPS system, it's called, it's saying rerouting to get you back on the right road. Thank God today for his word and thank God for his Holy Spirit that when I deviate on the wrong road, y'all talk to me, amen. He, he, his word and his spirit brings me back to the right path and it reroutes me amen, uh, to the road that I need to be on. Why does he do this? The text says, for his name sake, y'all ain't talking to me, amen. That is so that others can hear us say, my God brought me here. Are y'all on here with me? We ought to thank God that when I do go astray, amen, he reroutes me and brings me another way. Uh, 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 uh. The, the parable that, that, that Jesus gave, uh, in Luke chapter 15, it talks about the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. 
And I, I don't want to deal with all of that, but I do want to bring a point about the lost sheep. The Bible says that he left the 99 and went uh, and found the one. Now, somebody in their brain would think, well, he got 99. Why would he worry about the one? Well, my brothers and sisters, what if that one was you? Y'all ain't talking to me. So thank God today that when he's my shepherd, he gives, he, he meets my direction on these. When I can't find my way, y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. He's my compass. He, he, he provides uh, directions for me. Amen. The, the Bible even said, thy word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. Y'all ain't talking to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I need direction, amen, he gives me guidance. So not only does he provide, he meets our spiritual need when he's our shepherd, not only uh, he meets our direction in these when he's our shepherd. But look at the next part of it, Psalms 23 and 4. When the Lord is your shepherd, he meets our emotional needs. The text says, yea, though I walk through the valley. Y'all ain't talking. That's a shock moment right there. It didn't say, yea, though I walk in the valley. But it says, yea, though, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Y'all come on, talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Lord is your shepherd, he meets our emotional needs. Amen. He provides comfort. Stay with me. With his rod. Amen. The rod is used to beat wild animals that attack sheep. Y'all got to get it. The rod is, it, it, it provides comfort. Amen. Is 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 used to beat wild animals that attack sheep, and his staff, watch this, is used to guide the sheep and to pull them back from harm. Y'all ain't talking. When life takes you through the darkest valley, come on, receive the consolation that your divine shepherd has power in one hand and grace in the other hand. Y'all ain't talking to me here. So when I'm going through my deep, my darkest valleys, he meets my emotional needs. Amen. He, he comforts me. That, that's why even uh, in the book of Revelation, it said he will wipe tears from your eye. He meets our emotional needs. I don't know about you, but on this journey, you got to cry sometimes. You got to cry sometimes. You got to go through the heartaches and the, the broken hearts. You got to go through the pain. You got to go through life circumstances, but even when I do, I, even when it's my time to go through those difficult days, through, through those dark, <clears throat> excuse me, those dark valleys, hey, hey amen, he, he meets our emotional needs. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, though I walk through the valley, we, we all, we all can't stay on the mountaintop all the time, we gotta, we gotta experience some valley moments, but when I go through my valley moments, I appreciate my mountain moments. Yes, yes, yes. So not only does he meet our spiritual needs, our directional needs, not only does he meet our emotional needs, but when the Lord is your shepherd, he meets our physical needs. Psalms 23 uh, and verse 5 says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Come on, somebody. God feed uh, us when we get hungry. Y'all ain't talking to me. When, 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 when we're hungry, he, he feeds us. And not only that, but he anoints my head with oil uh, when I need healing. Y'all ain't talking to me. So what are, what are you saying, man? I'm saying that God's provisions never runs dry. He, he never runs out of blessing. That, that's why he can bless me and bless you all at the same time. So we ought to thank God today that when, when I'm in physical, when my physical needs are met, uh, you ought to be able to thank God that, that he has supplied all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Thank God that his provision never runs out. Look, 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 look what David says. Get it, get it. I don't want y'all to miss it. Don't want you to miss it. He provides 
uh, our provisional need. He provides our physical need. So his provision never runs out. Watch it, watch it. That's why David said, my cup overflow. What are you saying, man? I'm saying that when he blesses, he gives me more than enough. You ought to thank God today for overflow. I need somebody to catch that in your spirit today. Uh, just come on, type on here today. Thank you, God, for overflow. Just, just come on. You ain't even got to type all of that. Just say overflow, overflow, overflow. Uh, the Bible even says in Psalms, he daily loads me with benefits. In other words, every single day I get blessings. I get blessings on top of blessing. I heard the songwriter say, every time I turn around, uh, he keeps on blessing me. Somebody ought to get up and just turn around in your, in your living room, in your bedroom, and just say, every time I turn around, he keeps on blessing me. Over and over, the old, the old hymn said, the Lord is blessing me. Right now, he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, y'all ain't helping me. It's blessing me right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Overflow, overflow. I don't, why can't I leave that right now? In a pandemic, the Lord can give you overflow. Thank you, Lord, uh, for providing for my family. Thank you, Lord, for providing for my friends. Thank you, Lord, for providing for my Facebook family. Thank you, Lord, for providing for my church family. Thank you, Lord, for providing. Watch this, even for my enemies. That's when you reach a level of maturity, when you want to see everybody blessed, regardless how they've done you. Thank you, God, for meeting our physical needs. Thank you, Lord, that even in a pandemic, God, I don't have to struggle uh, to find something, but God, you provided all that I need. God, thank you, thank you, thank you, that every time I turn around, God, you're blessing me. Somebody today ought to thanks. Just tell God, God, thank you. Thank you for blessing me. Uh, not only does he meet our spiritual needs, not only our directional needs, not only our emotional needs, not only our physical needs, uh, but look, when the Lord is your shepherd, here's your shout this morning. He meets our eternal needs. I wish I had a witness here. Uh, Psalms 23 and verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy, oh my goodness, shall follow me all the days of my life. Yeah, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My brothers and sisters, uh, sheep, shepherds often have what is called sheep dogs that keep uh, sheep from wandering. Uh, the divine shepherd has two sheep dogs. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's the name? The name is goodness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Lord have mercy. Sometimes they bark and they nip at you when you wander from the fold. But they do so with the intent, watch this, of driving you back into the fellowship with your shepherd so that you may eternally, here it is, dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Do I have a witness here? Somebody ought to thank God today for those two sheep dogs by uh, goodness and mercy. Oh my goodness, when, when, watch this, I'm, I'm about to get out of here, y'all, but when poverty is following me, when depression is following me, when fatigue is following me, when frustration is following me, when problems, pain, uh, is following me when circumstances and situations are following me, following me. Watch this. They can't get to me because they got to come through goodness and mercy. Lord have mercy. Goodness and mercy, listen, shall follow me not just one day, two days a week, uh, not even a year, but it shall follow me all the days, <laughs> priest markers of my life. Lord have mercy because this shepherd is none other than the Lord God himself. I'm closing, y'all. Uh, I shall not want for any good thing because he supplies uh, everything I need. I shall not want when it comes to that which I desire because he feels, priest Marcus, my every desire. I won't be in want because, here it is, he satisfies uh, my every longing with himself. And because he does, here it is. I am content and at peace. I'm leaving you here because the Lord is my shepherd. Lord have mercy. I shall not lack. I, I shall not lack any good thing because every good 
and perfect gifts comes from the Lord. I shall not lack, Lord have mercy, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, or in any other way. I shall not lack because there will always be enough, Lord have mercy. Can I, let me change it. There will always be more than enough. Can I get a witness? He will see, yeah, that I have more than enough. Can I get a witness? Because he daily loads me with benefits. Can I get a witness here? He is, yeah, blessing me. Yeah, with spiritual blessings. Yes, uh, in heavenly places, priest markers. And he gives me abundant life. Can I get a witness? He is my healer. Yeah, my savior, my deliverer. Lord, yeah, he's my peace. Lord, have mercy. He's my hiding place. Yeah. Yes, he's my safe refuge. Yeah. He's my strong tower, priest markers, and he is my strength. Yes, uh, have I got a witness here? I've got to quit, y'all. I shall not lack, yeah. I shall not come behind, Lord have mercy, in anything that I need because my shepherd here it is. He's my El Shaddai. Uh, he's an all-sufficient God. Can I get a witness? Somebody, 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 somebody ought to testify and say, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, and when the Lord is my shepherd, Lord have mercy. Yes, I, I have everything that I need. I, can I get a witness here? I got to quit. Yeah, but if you look at the text today, the text says the Lord is. Yes, uh, can I get a witness here? When I begin to think about the Lord is, I begin to think about, yeah, the Lord is who or what? Well, the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah, he's leading and guiding me. Yes, the Lord uh, is the bread of life. Uh, he satisfies me, uh, so I hunger no more. Uh, I heard uh, the songwriter say, bread of heaven, uh, bread of heaven, uh, feed me, feed me, till I want no more. Uh, the Lord is uh, living water. Uh, he quenches uh, all of my thirst. Uh, can I get a witness here? The Lord uh, is the light of the world. I'll never walk in darkness again. Preach, Marcus. Yeah, the Lord is my refuge. He is the place where I'm saved from all harm and danger. Have I got a witness here? The Lord is my rock. Yes, uh, a solid foundation uh, upon which I can build my life. Yes, uh, I heard uh, David said, uh, when, my, when, when, uh, when I feel uh, overwhelmed, uh, lead me uh, to the rock uh, that is higher than I. Uh, have I got a witness here? The Lord. Uh, is the way uh, I'll never uh, get lost again. Uh, the Lord uh, is the truth. Uh, I'll never have uh, to fall for a lie. Y'all ain't helping me. Um, the Lord uh, is life. Uh, I'll never die. Uh, through him, uh, I have eternal life. Uh, the Lord uh, is my substitute. Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, because I, uh, you and I, uh, ought to be the one, uh, should have been the one uh, that died on Calvary. Uh, but the Lord uh, is our substitute. Uh, he died uh, on Calvary's cross. Uh, thank God today uh, he died. Uh, Thank God, yeah, he died. Thank God, he died. But early, early, y'all ought to help me early. Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. Have I got a witness here? The Lord, the Lord, y'all ought to type that this morning. The Lord is my all in all. Can I get a witness? Huh? Thank you, Jesus, huh? for being my all in all. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Ain't he all right? Huh? 
the Lord uh, deserves the praise. Uh, can anybody today uh, give him glory? Uh, can anybody uh, give him praise? Uh, when, um, yeah, I think of the goodness, yeah, of Jesus uh, and all uh, he's done for me, uh, my soul. Uh, cries out hallelujah y'all ought to shout hallelujah today because the lord been that good can i give you some something today yes i need to give you seven reasons why you are to glorify him number one he woke you up number two he woke you up number three he woke you up number four he woke you up number five he woke you up number six he woke you up number seven he woke you up have i got a witness ain't he all right yeah the lord is ain't he all right i got seven more things i need to give you why you ought to praise him the lord is good number one huh? the lord is huh? good huh? number two huh? the lord huh? is good huh? number three huh? the lord huh? is good huh? number four huh? the lord huh? is good huh? number five the lord huh? is good huh? number six huh? the lord huh? is good huh? number seven huh? oh taste and see huh? that the lord huh? is good if the lord is good i dare you today you don't need a crowd yeah you don't need a whole lot of folk you don't even need the organ to cue you but if the lord been good to you right in your living room your bedroom your car wherever you are you ought to open your mouth and shout yes yes shout yes yeah, shout yes, yes. Why you shout yes when praises go up? Yeah, blessings come down. Ain't he all right? I feel good, y'all, because the Lord is my shepherd. I gotta testify for this past week. I've been overwhelmed, I've been bogged down, I've been burdened down, I've been troubled, I've been frustrated, I've been fatigued, I've been like to lost my mind. But when the Lord is my shepherd huh? i have peace huh? that surpasses all understanding huh? i testify today huh? because i'm a witness huh? that the lord huh, will give you peace huh? thank god today huh? for peace huh? in the midst of the storm huh? yes i gotta quit y'all huh? but thank you jesus huh? for being my shepherd huh? Thank you, Jesus, huh, for being my all in all. Thank you, Jesus, for being all that I need. Lord, we thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being an ever-present help in our time of trouble. Thank you today, Lord, for meeting all of our needs. Thank you for meeting our spiritual needs, our directional needs, our emotional needs, our physical needs, and our eternal needs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for always being there. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you, Lord, that when we're overwhelmed, we, we know that you are all that we need. Thank you for our valid moments of frustration and, and all of those things, God. But we thank you that we don't stay there because as we go through, you made us a promise that you're always with us. God, I thank you for all of my family and friends that's on this feed today. I cover them right now, God, in the blood of Jesus. God, note that, that no harm or hurt will come to them nor their family. 
We make a decree today, God, that it will not affect their house. Whatever the enemy may be plotting or scheming, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Everybody sing amen. Everybody say amen. Everybody sing amen. 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 If you love him, say amen. If you love him, say amen. If you love him, say amen, amen, amen. If he's been good, you ought to say amen. He's been good, say amen. He's been good, say amen, amen, amen. Amen. God bless you. I love y'all. Be safe. Amen. And until we meet again. Amen. Let the Lord be your shepherd. God bless y'all.